at least three people have died in the Houston area after major flooding and tornadoes swept across the southern U.S. over the weekend. Record rainfall caused major flooding and tornadoes, killing at least 10 in Oklahoma and Texas. The U.S.'s fourth most populous city is underwater in many parts on Tuesday, with cars abandoned on city streets and highways. Thousands of residents are displaced and over 1,000 homes are destroyed. On Tuesday morning, Houston's highways were still flooded, making driving impossible for residents. Texas Governor Greg Abbott has declared a state of emergency in 24 counties in Texas. On Monday, at least 13 people were killed by a tornado that hit the northern Mexico border city of Acuna. Mexican authorities said that more than 1,000 homes were damaged by the storm. Houston's public transport services were suspended and many residents of Houston were told to stay home from work and school. More than 11 inches of rain fell overnight on Monday and into Tuesday morning. Houston Mayor Anais Parker said at the news conference that many parts of Houston were not hit by the storm, but she urged people to stay inside and not seek out the floodwaters for photos. We urge folks not to go out looking for floodwaters. We urge people to people to continue to be safe. The worst thing that's happened is a loss of life, she said. One victim of the floods was Elisa Ramirez, an 18 year old from Devine, Texas, who was driving home from her school prom, where she had just been named prom queen. Barricades were not being used on the road. Ms. Ramirez was driving home on after prom, News for San Antonio reported. Ms. Ramirez called 911 and tried to escape, but the floodwaters came too fast and too heavy. Crews found Ms. Ramirez in her car Monday morning.